so first we'll take that one isolated capacitor charged isolated capacitor plus q minus q so we'll calculate the force of attraction so what is the force of attraction we know this is equal to fe area of cross section of plates is e so what is the formula fe equal to q square by 2a epsilon naught now i'll introduce a dielectric slab between the plates of a capacitor and then what will happen to that force of attraction so what is the charge on capacitor will be plus q minus q it's isolated anything will happen to charge so here i'm going to bring a slab So this is the ceramic slab. What will happen to K? So what is the first diagram? First diagram is the, the, the initial diagram. Now first case, <laughs> a dielectric slab. Is placed. between the plates of isolated charged capacitor this is a condition given for uh, what will happen to the force of interaction this was the question that is asked for us uh, how to determine this say so we'll go back to again the the same basic law what we learned how to calculate the force of interaction the same method is what will apply even in this case also so how many surfaces will come? So here the induced charge will be there. There will be an induced charge. And this will be induced charge here. So here, so what is the induced charge? Minus QI plus QI. And what was the charge on capacitor? Plus Q minus Q. Uh, anybody, can you say anything about charge on capacitor? Will it change or remain same as it is? Charge on a capacitor will it change no it's isolated charge capacitor no so, <coughs> what parameter of capacitor will remain constant what are the first things i'll write it the charge of q remains constant mm -hmm. what will happen to capacitance earlier what was capacitance epsilon naught a by d now what is the capacitance of this c equal to k epsilon naught a by d capacitance will increase mm -hmm. no no any other thing Q remains constant, K increase, uh, capacitance increase. What will happen to potential difference? So earlier potential difference was, so we can write Q naught by C naught or Q naught D by epsilon naught. Uh, can you say anything about capacitance? Will decrease here, no? V equal to Q by C. The charge remains same. I'll write same Q naught. Okay, clear this. So then capacitance increased by K times. So Q naught D by K epsilon naught a so what happened to potential potential decreases by k times got this so these are very important for you oh, what is the force of interaction we are interested in the force of interaction so let me put the name one two surfaces three four so the charge on the surface one will experience force due to what due to charge on the surface three surface four and surface two the charge on the charge on surface one experience a force due to charge on surfaces three or say two comma three and four write down the equation now what is the method like this so the force experienced by the surface one so we we write like this f1 is equal to now first of all uh, what about uh, no no you 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 listen you listen 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 at the end of the concept you can ask it huh? 
so what is the field produced by this e1 or e2 magnitude should be equal to sigma by epsilon naught qa by epsilon naught what is the field produced by the this particular thing e3 and e4 so that will be <laughs> e naught by k so due to induced charge we already we know that e3 and e4 so now what is the total force that should be equal to f1 should be equal to charge is how much q naught so it will experience force due to the surfaces so I'll, I'll put like this here q naught into first e3 in what direction this particular field will be towards right e i cap then this will be minus q naught e4 i cap plus q naught into e2 i cap shall i write directly because how the field due to the e3 will be towards right if you are getting confusion you can show it like this like what we did in electrostatics only if you are getting confusion surface 3 means this particular thing here this is a 4 this is a 2 so directly you can say like this negative charge will produce field <coughs> in the direction so now what is q naught q, q naught is what charge that one so that will be as it is so now how e3 and e4 are e3 and e4 are so e3 and e4 should be equal and opposite no so that is nothing but equal to how much e naught by k if you want you can write that as e naught by for the so this should be equal and opposite will cancel out e3 bar plus e4 bar should be equal to zero so what is only field is due to e2 in this i cap you write it so what is value of e2 q q a epsilon naught this is 2 will come here no. so q square by 2 a epsilon naught so look at the force didn't change no what was earlier for the same force so what force that will act here f1 the same force will act here so what happened the force of interaction between the plates will not change got this one so these are all theoretical conceptual questions are there you should not remember you are supposed to work out you should take example you take sc verma all the objective questions they are asking so many things here so what students they are just remembering you have to take example and you have to verify it you have to take a situation and you have to verify it. Now, here's doubt. Yeah. Does anybody doubt? Complete it. Shall I continue? <coughs> now, this is about the force. So, when, when you pl place a dielectric slab between the plates of capacitor, what will happen to? The force of interaction between the plates remains constant. So, therefore, what is the conclusion here? I am going to conclude like this. What is the conclusion? The force of interaction between the plates remains constant on. On placing the slab between.